ladies in the house making noise? Stop clapping, that's y'all fault. <laughs> it must have been your day to sing the solo in the church choir. <laughs> Why do we sing? I didn't realize how hard it was to walk sexy in the sand. Wasn't it was spring break. <laughs> Treat a white dude like you treat us. I'm telling you, they 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 more sensitive. You can take our kids away. We didn't we didn't want to see them that weekend in no way. <laughs> Listen, if you like white girls, do you? My name is Kente. <laughs> this is the funniest I'm ever gonna be. I promise. You. If anybody saw the video, 500 pound silverback gorilla dragged his little four-year-old boy 100 feet in water. That kid got up like. <laughs> Um, what do I think about Ghost Riders? I think Ghost Riders are good. I don't feel like Ghost Riders are a bad thing. Ghost riding in comedy, it, it happens, it's been happening since the beginning. Since it's been happening a long time. Richard Pryor had writers, including Paul Moni. So uh, I think it's something that, that happens and it, it always will be happening. So I don't I don't have a problem with Ghost Riding that. If Richard Pryor was the greatest comedian ever since he had people write for him, and I absolutely believe that he was the greatest comedian ever because the people that wrote for him wasn't as great as he was. Like Kevin Hart has five people he writes with, but it's like a cipher. They throw a joke out or they throw a topic out and they all put it around the room so it becomes a joke they created as a collective. Now, if somebody's just writing all his material, then that's kind of uh, that's kind of hacky to me. It's like a rapper who doesn't do his own raps. If somebody writes something for me and I can pull it off, that that does not take away from me being great. I'm, I'm kind of conflicted about it because I write my own stuff. You have your own voice, but if you get to a certain level, um, you become detached from from the masses. So your comedy kind of falters. You're not gonna have time, or you're not gonna be around the environment to write your own material. If you have not made $10 million as a comedian, then you don't need a ghostwriter. Ghostwriters are cool. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. What's up, y'all? My name is Kente Scott. I'm Mark Theobald, Franz Cash's comedian, and you're watching Chocolate Sundays. <laughs>